I, Woodrow Wilson. I, Warren Hardy. I, Calvin Coolidge. I, Herbert Clark Hoover. I, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who solemnly swear that I will face... Five men execution. sat in the White House between 1919 and 1933. Two were great, two were average, and one was a bad president. And the greatest of these was the most hated. The fact that he was also for a time the most beloved man on earth made the tragedy of Thomas Woodrow Wilson even greater. The world must be made safe for democracy. And when Wilson went to Europe the first United time, the world's heartbeat was with him. In France, they lighted candles in his honor. He was cheered as no conqueror ever was. In Rome, his picture hung in almost every home. His was a glory far exceeding Caesar's. In England, his path from the Channel Coast to Charing Cross Station was strewn with flowers. This, indeed, was a man of peace. But less than a year later, the man of peace was a mere man of politics. He had made two trips to Europe and spent six months at that green baize table with Clemenceau, Orlando, and Lloyd George. He had laid his 14 points containing his league before them, and to keep his dream alive had been forced to compromise and conciliate barter and bargain to such an extent that the product he brought home for approval was already suffering from the anemia, which was the old world's chronic disease. Gentlemen of the Senate, the Treaty of Peace with Germany was signed at Versailles on the 28th of June. <coughs> I avail myself of the earliest possible opportunity to lay the treaty before you for ratification. My brothers, the stage is set. The destiny disclosed. We cannot turn back. America shall in truth show the way. He had been back less than 30 days when he realized that he was losing his battle, that his moment was slipping away from him. Although a majority of the American voters and most newspapers favored the League, Senator Henry Cabot Lodge had marshaled sufficient forces of jingoism to kill it. So, for the first time in a non-election year, an American president boarded a train and took his fight to the people. I have not come here to debate this treaty. 